This is Code Combat. I'm working on their Web Development 2 course, and I'm currently on Level 4, JavaScript Master of Names. Let's see what we have. Goals. Your hero must survive, defeat the ogres. Variables contain information to be referenced later. You can assign a new value to a variable anytime you want. Use find nearest enemy to target the nearest enemy for variable closest enemy equals hero nearest enemy. All right, so variables are complicated. Let's dive into them. All right, so this level you might remember from earlier. You might not if we haven't seen it. So enemy one up here, that is our variable name. And what we ask the computer to do, and I know that's a variable because it says VAR here. So I say, hey, computer, variable enemy one now equals hero, look around and find the nearest enemy. So my hero is going to look, and whatever enemy is closest to my hero, their new name is enemy one. Watch. You see how this already says enemy one? Bye bye. And now I want to pause this. Enemy two. Well, where is that coming from? Why did this guy get the name Enemy 2? Well, because after we attacked Enemy 1, my hero, we told the hero, hey, make a new variable, variable Enemy 3, hero, look around and name that enemy Enemy 3, Then we had, or Enemy 2, and then we attacked Enemy 2 twice. A variable can be anything. You don't need to do this, but I just want to show you. What if it's Fred? It will work just the same. But... So instead of naming that guy enemy 2, I named him Fred. In math, you'll see variables with X, right? And so I could just use the letter X as well. All right, so we need to attack this last enemy. So I'm going to call this enemy enemy 3 equals, and then we need hero find nearest enemy. I just hit enter, so it auto-filled. Hero find nearest enemy, and then attack. And who do we want to attack? Well, I named this enemy enemy 3, so I need to put a 3 here. And I'm going to say attack again. And, oops. Maybe. And I need to put a 3 here because I named mine enemy 3. Make sure you don't have spaces in variable names. And it can't start with the number. Let's try. Perfect. So what I needed to do was I needed to name this last enemy. I named mine enemy 3. And then I attacked enemy 3 twice. I asked my hero to look around find the nearest enemy, became enemy three, and then attack. Awesome, let's keep going. 